Let's take a look at labeling the animal cell. How many parts of the animal cell do you know? Follow if you want to see my video on labeling a plant cell and another video labeling a prokaryotic cell as well. We're gonna start with the outside of the cell and that is our cell surface membrane. Our cell surface membrane might be folded in certain places like here and these would be our micro villi. Moving inside the cell now, we have some vesicles here that might contain hydrolytic enzymes. Those are our lysosomes. Then we might have our mitochondria here. I can recognize that because they have that double membrane. As well as our mitochondria, we can start to recognize some structures in the cytos cytoplasm here. We have our centrosome. And radiating out of that centrosome, we have these long microtubules. As well as our microtubules, we have, I can see we've got some rough endoplasmic reticulum here. I re can recognize that's the rough endoplasmic reticulum because it has these little dots, our ribosomes on it. And that must mean that down here is our smooth endoplasmic reticulum. As well as our smooth endoplasmic reticulum, we've also got over here our Golgi apparatus. And I can recognize this as my Golgi apparatus because we can see we have these little vesicles pinching off that Golgi. Can't spell vesicles, can I? As well as our vesicles, we can see that we've got some free floating ribosomes within the cytoplasm. Along with our free floating ribosomes, we've now got to our nucleus. So our total structure here, we have our nucleus, and then we can start to break down our specific parts of the nucleus. So in the center, we have our nucleolus. We've got our nuclear pores. And alongside our nuclear pore, we also have our nuclear membrane. And then last but not least, I've said the word a few times already, it's the, people that, it's the part that people really frequently forget to label, and that is the cytoplasm as well. So how many of those did you get? 